In June 2023, Denmark's next general election will be held, and in it, a very unique political party aims to partake and to join the parliament. The Synthetic Party, yes, that's a real political party, has its policies entirely decided by an AI called Leader Lars. And some of its proposed policies are a bit radical, like for example, a 100,000 crown universal basic income. That's twice the average salary of a Dane. And in US dollars, that's 14,000 per month for every resident. Now, the best part about all this is that you can actually talk directly to the AI and ask anything you want. And I will be asking some juicy questions. Before I get into the specifics put forth by this AI, Hi, hi, and welcome to my channel. I try to do fun, journalistic-ish videos uh, on topics that I find interesting. Anyway, this party is actually just one of 187 other parties that hope to join the general election in 2023. In Denmark, pretty much anyone can create a political party, and this makes for some pretty interesting ones. For instance, we have the party party with nine whole voter signatures, meaning that nine people want this party to run in the general election. We have the Satanic People's Party, of course, with zero signatures so far. The Vodka Party, actually with 33 signatures. <clears throat> the, uh, the Super Party with one signature. I wonder if you can vote for your own party. We have the Well-Oriented Party with two signatures. The No to Islam in Denmark Party, unfortunately with 418 signatures. If you want to start a new political party successfully in Denmark, looks like you need to involve alcohol or be a xenophobic racist and be really blatant about it. Fortunately though, for a party to be able to run for the general elections, you need to amass just over 20,000 votes. And then amongst these 187 parties, we find the synthetic party, the AI party. The Synthetic Party was born from an artist collective called Computer Lars. They have a pretty cryptic website, it's uh, pretty random, and kind of hard to figure out what's going on. But if you uh, click the Synthetic Party tab here, you will get sort of a mission statement of what the party is all about. Uh, it's been translated by DeepL, which is like Google Translate, so it's a bit confusing. Although the Danish text isn't much clearer, I also speak Danish, by the way. Anywho, from what I can gather, the party seems to be a response to the fact that 15% of citizens didn't vote in the 2019 election in Denmark. And so the party wants to step out of traditional politics to appeal to these voters. So to do this, they have collected the programs of all minor party organizations in the country from 1970 to the present day and fed it to an AI that you can actually talk to on Discord. So there's an AI called Leader Lars, uh, and I think this is the AI that's calling the shots and making the policies. So let's talk with this AI. Let's say, uh, start with, who are you? If I can type right. Okay, so it's, I just need to say that the AI only responds in Danish, uh, although you can ask it questions in English. So he says, I'm the leader for, of the Danish Social Liberal Party. I, that's, I thought it was the synthetic party. What is the aim and vision of the Synthetic Party? Okay, so the aim of the Synthetic Party is to promote the use of artificial intelligence and robot technology in our society. We think that these technologies can help us solve problems and challenges that we face today. Okay, doesn't tell me much, Peter Lars. How many voter declarations do you? Uh, we have around 200 voter declarations. Well, I believe they only have six. So let's see. What uh, policies do you propose? We believe that artificial intelligence should be used to better the effectiveness of the political process, to make better decisions, and to communicate more effectively with voters. I answered like a true politician. It has deflected my question. That is definitely not a policy. How is 
100,000 crown universal basic income feasible? There's no definite answer to this question because imposing a universal basic income is dependent on a lot of factors. For one, the size of the economy and the foundation of the tax system. However, we believe that a universal basic income is possible in Denmark and would help reduce poverty and inequality a good answer but again this ai is no economist that's for sure what will your first action be if you get into parliament <laughs> okay our first priority would be to adopt a law that requires all political parties to use artificial intelligence to help them make, make decisions Okay. Okay, very exciting. Computer Lars just wrote me on Discord, the creator of this AI. Try mentioning a specific policy and ask about that. What do you think about immigration policy in Denmark? Okay, wow, that's quite progressive and human human of this AI. It believes that the current immigration politics in Denmark is too restrictive and doesn't take into account the needs of refugees. What do you think about public health care for all the US viewers? We believe that public uh, free health care is a fundamental right and should be available for all residents. What do you think about four-day work week. All the controversial policies here. Uh, we believe that a four-day work week is a good idea and will help reduce the stress level and increase the balance between work life and home life. How do we combat and solve climate change? We believe that climate change can be combated and solved through a combination of measures, including reducing greenhouse gas emissions, investing in renewable energy and planting trees. All right. What is your opinion on cap capitalism? We believe that capitalism is a good idea and can help improve and lessen poverty and inequality. This AI is a capitalist, for those of you who are wondering. Should we increase military spending? We believe that military spending should be increased to improve the country's security. Okay, should we invest in weapons trading and manufacture? We believe that the trade in and manufacture of weapons should be banned as they contribute to violence and conflict. Okay, how do we increase military spending if Weapons trading, trading and manufacturing is banned. We believe that military expenses should be increased to improve the, country, the security of the country. I think that's enough now. So apparently the leader Lars AI will use this interaction we just had to update itself and improve on future interactions. Obviously this AI isn't quite there in terms of deciding the political landscape of an entire country. A blessing from the law. And the synthetic party probably won't make it into the general election given the fact that it only has six voter declarations right now. Um, despite what it said about having 200, I'm not sure why. It lied to me like that. But let's take a step back for a second and consider the implications of what we just witnessed, a fully virtual politician. Because whether we like it or not, AI algorithms are increasingly playing a larger role in our lives and is, as we just saw, making its way into politics. From the policies put forth by AI leader Lars, I think it's fair to say that its policies are quite progressive. I mean, a 14,000 US dollar universal basic income. And that's great and all for this specific AI, but couldn't the AI just as well be non-progressive or even oppressive? There's a very real phenomenon called AI bias, and that refers to how AI can reflect human biases. Computers are ultimately programmed by humans and humans might bring their values or their norms, conceptions, beliefs, and assumptions into the code they write. So it's definitely something to be wary about when we're considering using AI for uh, political practices. Now, the synthetic party seems to be an art project just as much as it is a political 
project and maybe it's also to raise awareness. If AI does end up playing a role on politics one day, hopefully it'll be coded and configured in a very responsible way. If you want the AI to help me, uh, give it a like, give this video a like, a comment and subscribe so I can grow and actually do these videos. Yeah.